Late last year, an electric guitar arrived at the house that I wasn't expecting. And when I saw the box, I thought for sure Fender had sent this to the wrong address, or at least to the wrong YouTuber, until I unboxed it and realized, yes, it is a lefty. So we're checking out something a little bit different. Before we get into it, a huge thanks to Fender for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. Odds are you may have already seen this on the channel, but I haven't reviewed it yet until now. This is the Charvel ProMod DK24HH. We get two humbucker pickups, we get 24 frets, we get a five-way toggle switch down here and a series and parallel switch down over here. Now, I didn't know a whole lot about Charvel guitars. I've only ever played one before this one. And there's so much to like about it when it comes to its tones and overall playability. And I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But this is a really musical instrument. You're about to hear it in the context of a jam track. And then we'll get over to some isolated tones. Here we go. Before we get into the isolated tones, I just wanted to touch on the electronic setup. So we get a five-way toggle switch, which is pretty uncommon when you're talking about a two humbucker electric guitar. I'll leave a diagram on screen showcasing exactly what each of the positions do when you're using that five position toggle switch, but you're using different coils and so forth, or you'll be using the full pickup in either bridge or neck position. It's pretty wild. Now we get this series and parallel switch. In series, you're getting that typical higher output humbucker tone with it in Parallel mode, it's got more chime, a little less output, and it sounds beautiful clean. This is a very versatile instrument, but just know for all of these samples coming up, I'll leave some information on screen so you know exactly what's going on. Let's kick it off with some clean tones and unplugged into my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier on the clean channel. I've also added a little bit of room reverb and delay thanks to the time delay from Crazy Tube Circuits. I'm gonna start in parallel mode, which is the more mellow of the two with the toggle switch in the up position. Here we go. Let's have a listen to these pickups clean in series mode. So the toggle switch will be in the down position. This will give us a more traditional mids heavy kind of humbucker tone. I'm gonna to start though with the toggle switch in the up position, then we'll switch it back. Thank you. 
Let's have a listen to how these Seymour Duncan humbuckers handle some overdrive. And I'm going to be switching between series and parallel mode. And I'm also using the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal just on the left hand side. <laughs> Let's try both sides of the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal just on the bridge pickup. We're going to cycle through parallel and series mode so you can get a good sense of how this might sound if you're using way more gain. <laughs> Up next, we're taking a look at the tone control on this guitar. It locks into place in off position, which is all the way forward, bypasses the pot that way, and then you can start to wind it down. Now, this is a very responsive tone control, and you don't have to move it much to get some great results. <laughs> Lastly, I want to showcase the volume control dynamics. So we're going to start with the volume control down and then I'll turn it up and you can get some really great lead tones. The gain structure will be identical. All I'll be doing is turning the guitar volume up and down. <laughs> Let's wrap this video up. I'm going to talk about what I like and what you need to know about this Charvel electric guitar. Massive thank you to Fender for thinking of me with this lefty. I really appreciate it. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. Let's start by talking about tone because I think that's where this guitar really shines. You can get everything from your typical hot output humbucker tone all the way through to more traditional Stratty style tones or even tally tones just by using that toggle switch there. It's an extremely versatile instrument. Being able to switch between parallel and series and having a five-way toggle switch offers plenty of different combinations. Now, bridge pickup and neck pickup are my two favorite combinations on this without question, but you can get lots of different tones out of it. Let's talk about the tone control. This Charvel has the most responsive tone control I've ever used. You don't have to turn it down much to knock out some of that top end. And when you lock it back, into the off position, it bypasses that circuit altogether. I really like what they've done here and it just clicks into place beautifully. Now let's talk about playability and how this guitar feels in the hand. What I really love about it is the rolled fingerboard edges. We get this beautiful caramelized fretboard and beautiful neck here. This is so premium, it feels like a roasted maple neck. I'm not actually sure what the difference is between caramelized and roasted maple, but if you've picked up a roasted maple neck, it feels very similar in the hand. It has this really great satin finish to it. I think it looks good. Tuning stability has been pretty good. These are still the stock strings. I haven't changed them. We get those locking tuners, which work a treat. So I have no complaints in terms of playability. If you know the channel, you know I'm a huge fan of a fat neck. And while this neck is quite a lot thinner than I would like personally, I know it will suit a lot of people based on who this guitar is targeted towards. I think it's a very versatile instrument. It very heavily reminds me just in terms of its flexibility to something like my PRS SE Custom 24, except there's no dodgy split coil tones you'll never use. All of the tones in this guitar are extremely usable thanks to that series and parallel switch over here. And lastly, I was so used to plugging my guitars in either at the bass here 
or on the front. I had to get used to plugging them in on the back. So the cable goes through your guitar strap and down behind here. I think that's a really smart design. It's pretty cool. Let us know what you think. I know this is different for my channel, but I hope you like this video. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. Catch you soon. See ya.